السلام علیکم ایوری ون اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ریڈیو لمز آئی ایم خدیجہ طاہر یور ہوسٹ فار دا لمز رپورٹ ویلکم ٹو دا ویری فائنل ایپیسوڈ آف دا لمز رپورٹ دیٹ آئی ول بی ہوسٹنگ ہیئر ایٹ ریڈیو لمز ہو دیٹس کرنا ویئر ٹو سی بیکاز آئی بین ہوسٹنگ دس شو فار دس انٹائر ایئر سو دس از لائک دا فنالے فنالے ایپیسوڈ اینڈ آئی اسپینڈ اے لاٹ آف ٹائم اوور دا کورس آف دس پاسٹ ون پوائنٹ فائیو ایئرز انٹرویوئنگ ڈفرنٹ ممبرز آف دا لم اسٹوڈنٹ باڈی اینڈ یو نو کورنگ ایونٹس آن کیمپس اناؤنسنگ ٹو یو آل واٹس گوئنگ ٹو ہیپن نیکسٹ ویک اینڈ ایٹسیٹرا ایٹسیٹرا بٹ آئی تھاٹ فار مائی فنالے ایپیسوڈ آئی ووڈ انٹرویو And I would talk to all the members of here at Radio Lums. That was a very ambitious plan, but so I thought let's limit it to um, the head of departments and the EC. But um, I really wanted to take this opportunity to highlight all the work that's being done behind the scenes her- here at Radio Lums. Um, what you see are the RJs on screen, but what you don't see is, you know, the communications department and the HR working to manage all the coordination and the editors and the VP and the president working um, behind the scenes to help bring our different ideas to fruition. And obviously the marketing department, um, which is the heart and soul of of radio lums um the reason uh, we are getting thousands thousands of views on um instagram and all the social media apps so i thought you know let's take this opportunity of this final episode to thank all of my members here at radio lums and also talk to them about their journeys of how they joined um radio lums and what's it been like and what their future plans are for the society and um inshallah i hope to be you know a part of the audience now i have had a, a, a fun time um hosting this show so thank you all for tuning in and i think without further delay let's begin with our interviews of the members here at radio lums hello haja how are you doing hello assalamu alaikum khadija i'm good how are you I'm good. You're good. Yeah, my name is good. <laughs> Your name is good. Um I'm great Khadija. What about you? I I I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah. Hello Khadija. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for asking Khadija. How are you? Hello Khadija. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Wa alaikum assalam Khadija. Main theek hu. Aap kaise hain? Main bhi bilkul theek hu. So can you start by telling me ke what um made you join the society radio lums mm-hmm. and uh, what is your role as president so i joined the society like 2 to 2.5 years back i applied in my sophomore year when it was all covid and i just randomly got an email mm-hmm. uh, one december ke you have been shortlisted for the position of hr Mm-hmm. and i was like what society gives out email like in december mm-hmm. so i just replied i was like i'm free i can do you know i can give my time so i i went there there was kamran there was momal the founding ec yes. members and then they loved maybe my energy or maybe my so much interest in radio lumps because mm-hmm. as you can see i love talking i love creating content and i and more than that i loved connecting with people mm-hmm. who love to tell their stories so that is why i told kamran ke this is what ideas i have pitched or this is what i may do for the society mm-hmm. and after like 2 3 weeks i got a confirmation email that you are now the hr head of radio lums mm-hmm. so that's where we started from randomly four or five people got together we made a society literally in our cupboards we were like recording i was managing five people at that time you know it was a baby society as well mm-hmm. it was like a new society and then uh, when covid like went alhamdulillah bit so when we came back to uh, lums we had like a proper system like mm-hmm. recording like this you know studio room and stuff and then we got to know okay okay this is you know something really big and then we started having more conversation within the founding ec ki we need more people mm-hmm. and then we pitched out to like ldf or like we sent out random forms ke would people still be interested in like hearing people yeah. and like so many people applied for rjs english urdu yeah. and you know we also had like more languages to add they could have they could come in pashto they could come in punjabi so what happened later was ke uh, kamran had to leave he was graduating fiza had to leave she was our uh, english head and momal had to go to an exchange program mm-hmm. and randomly me and kas just land into osa's office and they are like okay you are the new president and you are the new vice president and we were a bit like taken aback ke how will we you know manage such a big society uh-huh. because my role was only 
managing 4 to 5 people not 10 to 20 people at the same time and that alone not just hr but the president of the society mm -hmm. and she was like we will give you some time to think about it but me and cas we had invested so much of our time our energy in radio lumps mm -hmm. we were doing task outside our job description even at that time so i think mm -hmm. that is why it seemed fit by the osa that we were the two candidates mm -hmm. so me and cas just got together we started thinking about it we started formally formulating the society like making a good paperwork mm -hmm. finding the patron maybe and then finalizing acha this is a department english wala now mm -hmm. it can't meddle with urdu or yeah. urdu can't meddle with some other department and with like five people we have a society of like i don't know say like 50 people now alhamdulillah mm -hmm. so i mean this is how we started just two clueless adults one in junior one and sophomore and we were like you know we are going to do the next big thing in lambs <laughs> it's really fun to hear because i was also a part of those yeah, initial you, five people yeah 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 you were our english team ki the first one of the first, first RJs, rj's with uh, fiza yeah we, under fiza yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. um mere saath uh, there was a few other people and i remember i was the one recording in the cupboards Oh. <laughs> at home for my very first episode of the Lums Report yeah, um, yeah, yeah. because tab, uh, you know the, the, there was COVID and the campus was closed mm. as well so we didn't have access tha to the studio and I yeah. recorded the first few episodes of the Lums Report in my closet at home um, and now we are here in this lovely studio Alhamdulillah I email when I was in first year it mm. was for the first year I just started and there was this email by, I think, OSA, or it was that there is this society, Radio Lums, and its um, executive council positions open on the year. And I did not join any societies in my first year. I was of that uh, mindset that I really want a high GPA, so I'm not going to join any other societies, right? But then I saw Radio Lums, and I was like, I always wanted to do radio. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to do, I always wanted to do, you know, presentation like things right uh, huh. this is gonna be so, sound so weird i always want to do youtube for oh. the longest period of time but i was like uh, i just make cringy I, i'm just cringe so i wouldn't make good content so it was like okay i wanted so then i emailed them and i was like i'm gonna be in uh, rj mm -hmm. and uh, uh and, and maybe what about the executive council so the email initially said the applications are open for the executive council of radio alarms mm -hmm. and i replied I didn't know what executive council or TM members meant at that time. And so I was like, can I just be a radio jockey? And they were like, oh, we're only recruiting for the executive council, but you can join in later when the society is formed. I was like, okay, the society hasn't formed. So I just applied to the executive council as a first year. And um, I remember talking to my peer advisor, uh, Manur. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Manur, a really nice person. She guided me a lot. Um, and I told her that... Can a first year society ki isi me asakta? And I remember very clearly, Unka message me reply ata, itna confidence I am as in the game. Turns out, Manur, I applied and I'm the VP of Radio Lums now. <laughs> yeah, it, it happened, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I applied and I was like, Zakia, because others are the reject karding mm image. -hmm. They took me in and okay, it's been a president. fun three years mm -hmm. since then. Dastan Shuru Hoti, eh? आज से 724 डेज पहले ठीक है 25th अप्रैल ठीक है आई 2021 2 इयर्स अगो आई रिसीव दिस ईमेल के डियर मेंबर कंग्रेचुलेशंस यू हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द रेडियो लम्स मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई जॉइन द डिपार्टमेंट दो महीने बहुत काम हुआ वी वर मेकिंग पोस्टर्स डूइंग दिस एंड दैट ठीक है एंड देयर वर ओनली लाइक थ्री मेंबर्स एंड अ डायरेक्टर एट दैट मोमेंट or per suddenly like I became a bit inactive during the summers due to certain personal reasons. Thori dey ke liye, but my director was very supportive. Per 27th September 2021, uh, we came on campus. Thik hai, it was a Monday. We walked into this room. Hmm. This chair, like this exact chair, I okay. was sitting here. Ayla, hmm. she was standing at the back. Ma thoda aage tha, thik hai. Okay. Or we recorded a video for the promo of the society. And for the EC as well, mm. hai? and I had lots of fun with them. I met a guy named uh, Kaselim, mm. hai? and I met Hajra, and she was the HR director at that moment. Or it was a very fun day, and I was like, 
यार बहुत सीनियर सोसाइटी का मैंने तो नहीं ये छोड़ नहीं कभी भी ठीक <laughs> है एंड आफ्टर दैट वी वी मेड दैट वीडियो एंड वी एडिटेड एट इट इट वॉज अ गुड वीडियो ठीक है एंड दैट गाय कैस ही सेड नी के साउथ ड्रो देखो मेरी शर्ट के ऊपर ना क्यू मैन लिखा हुआ आना चाहिए बड़ा कूल लगेगा इट्स एन इन साइड जोक इन द फेंस आई वॉज ठीक है सही है और वी शॉर्ट एट वी एडिटेड एट वी पब्लिश एट एट वन गर्ड ठीक है एंड देन एकदम से फॉर लाइक द नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर मंथस कोई खबर ही नहीं थी रेडियो लम्स कहाँ टोटली इन एक्टिव अंडरग्राउंड होने का बिल्कुल और बिल्कुल और फिर क्या हुआ कि वन डे रैंडमली मनाल शी वॉज माई डायरेक्टर मनाल ठीक है और मैं आई एस टी जा रहा था और रैंडमली आई बाम डन टू हर एंड शी सेट हेलो साउथ क्या हाल है फाइन एंड शी वॉज लाइक यूर पार्ट ऑफ रेडियो लाइन लाइक या यूर माई डायरेक्टर एंड देन शी सेट एंड यू डू प्लान टू स्टे हर आई सेट या श्योर डेफिनेटली एंड इस तरह आई वेंट और फिर कुछ दिन और गुजरे जनवरी था ऑलमोस्ट या फेबर का स्टार्ट था और फिर आई मेट दैट गाय समन कॉल कैसेलिन ठीक है एंड ही सेट मी साउथ डू यू डू यू प्लान टू स्टे ना आई वॉज या राइट ओके डू यू ना लाइक मूव आप बेट इन द हर श्योर लाइक आई कैन मैनेज इट एंड लाइक ओके एंड बाय देन फिफ्टींथ फेबररी सारी डेट्स याद एक एक तारीख याद है मस्जिद से मैं आ रहा था टूवर्ड्स आर ई डी सी ठीक है और एकदम से कॉल आती है फ्राम हाजरा इमरान द एच आर डायरेक्टर बना जॉन ठीक है एंड शी सेड के आई टॉक टू कैस इज वेल और तुम तो तुम्हारा तो प्लान है ना रहने का एंड यू विल बी स्टेंग हेयर आई वॉज लाइक या श्योर एंड देन दी सेड के यू विल बी प्रमोटेड टू द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई आज के वो आयला थी उसका क्या हुआ एंड शी वॉज लाइक उसको पहले कॉल की थी एंड शी विल ऑल्सो बी प्रमोटेड एज द डायरेक्टर आई लाइक ओके नाइस दैट्स गुड एंड देन मेक दीज मेड दीज व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स वगैरह ठीक है द नेक्स्ट डेट सिक्सटींथ फेबर एंड आई मैट आयला शी वॉज माई को डायरेक्टर एट दैट मोमेंट और वी सैट इन ग्रीन ऑलिव वहाँ पर और हमने पहला पोस्टर डिज़ाइन किया था एज डायरेक्टर्स विच वॉज फॉर हायरिंग और फॉर मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टू बिल्ड आर टीम फ्राम स्क्रैच एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस उनको हायर करना उनको इंटरव्यू करना एंड वेरी एक्सेप्शनल किड्स जॉइन एंड राइट एंड देर वॉज दिस ब्रिलियंट किड आई आई एम फॉर गेटिंग इज नेम पता नहीं इट इट वॉज समथिंग लाइक सबीहुद्दीन आई गेस राइट तो ही ऑल्सो जॉइन एंड एक्सेप्शनल किड ही वर्क रियली हार्ड विद अस ऑनेसली एंड आई रियली रियली इन्जॉयड वर्किंग विद ऑल माई मेम्बर्स लाइक अब मैं हर एक का लहदा लहदा नाम नहीं लूँगा किसी का मिस ना हो जाए ठीक है बट एवरी सिंगल पर्सन दे हैव माई हार्ट देर एवरी थिंग फॉर मी लाइक ऑनेसली एंड फिर वी स्टार्टड वर्किंग इन द मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट बिल्कुल बेसिक से स्टार्ट कर रहे थे कुछ पता नहीं था बिल्कुल वी वर लाइक वेरी ना इवन ऑल राइट और फिर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता करते 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 फिर वन डे कैश सेड कि हमने वीडियो रिकॉर्ड करनी है ठीक है पहला हमने एक पॉडकास्ट शूट करना है डॉक्टर फैसल बारी के साथ लाइक कैमरा कहाँ से आएंगे एंड देन आई गॉट इन टच विद सबीहुद्दीन एंड ही गॉट द कैमराज एक्सेप्शनल केड शॉट इट एडिटेड इट एंड दैट वॉज आर फर्स्ट पॉडकास्ट सो आई जॉइन रेडियो लम्स अ लिटल ओवर ईयर गो and i think it's interesting because i was never part of like the general body or i was never an assistant director um i just remember in like i think february of 2000 matlab last year 2022 mein ek email aayi thi osa ki taraf se and uh, it said basically that radio lums is uh, looking for an hr executive and us time pe i remember usse pehle radio lums का थोड़ा थोड़ा हम सुनते थे एंड देन सडनली वी वुड स्टॉप हियरिंग अबाउट इट इंटायरली बट इवन एट दैट पॉइंट इट वॉज स्टिल वन ऑफ द स्मॉलर सोसाइटीज ऑन कैम्पस एंड उसका कम पता था लोगों को बट आई वॉज ऑलरेडी पार्ट ऑफ अनदर सोसाइटी एट दैट टाइम एंड आई वॉज अ डायरेक्टर उधर भी एंड आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू लीव द सोसाइटी मतलब आई न्यू कि मैंने इवेंचुअली छोड़ देनी है बट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू कंटिन्यू लाइक दिस जर्नी ऑफ extra curriculars and having to do something other than academics on campus mm-hmm. so i was like yeah i'm interested in joining a society and this seems like um 
यू नो इट्स नॉट वन ऑफ दोज जो बहुत ही बहुत सारी सोसाइटीज होती है एंड यू कोड टेल की कम्युनिटी हाँ देर वॉज नो पॉलिटिक्स फ्रॉम द वाइब दैट आई गॉट मैंने जाके इंस्टाग्राम चेक किया मैंने अच्छा सा एक बार देखा सब कुछ एंड आई गॉट अ वेरी यू नो गुड फीलिंग अ गुड वाइब फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी सो आज एक मैंने भी तो ज्वाइन करनी है कोई सोसाइटी एंड आगे कुछ बढ़ाना तो है इस चीज को इस एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर्स वाली चीज में तो वाई नॉट अप्लाई एंड आई रिमेंबर आई अप्लाइड दिस वॉज अगेन दिस वॉज द पोस्ट ऑफ मतलब कमिंग डायरेक्टली इन टू द ई सी सो आई डेंट रियली थिंक के कुछ मतलब आई डेंट थिंक के कुछ होगा बट आई वॉज ऑल्सो ऑप्टोमिस्टिक आई वॉज लाइक चलो ना भी हुआ तो इट्स ओके आई थिंक द सेम डे दैट आई अपलाइड और द डे आफ्टर आई अपलाइड मुझे कैस की ई मेल आई थी एंड आई डेंट नो कैस एट ऑल एट दिस टाइम मतलब ही वॉज जस्ट रैंडम पर्सन टू मी इस टाइम पे तो उसकी मुझे ई मेल आई एंड ही सैड के ही सी सी हाजरा एन इट एंड ही वॉज लाइक यू नो वी लव टू इंटरव्यू यू तो मैंने कहा अच्छा सो आई वन फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड द इंटरव्यू इज रियली वेल मतलब बहुत अच्छा हो गया था मतलब आई फील लाइक कि मैंने आई डिड माई बेस्ट उस टाइम पे बट दे वर ऑल्सो वेरी रिसेप्टिव दे वर वेरी वेलकमिंग बोथ हाजरा एंड कैस एंड उस इंटरव्यू से भी सिर्फ एक दिन बाद ही मुझे उनकी ई मेल आ गई कि यू नो यू बिन पता नहीं वट हायर्ड मे बी आई डोंट नो दर्ड दे यूज तो दैट्स हाउ आई जॉइन द सोसाइटी एंड या आई थिंक दैट आंसर इज दस्ट uh when we started university it was online obviously i was in pindi i was in here and us waqt everyone was joining so different societies but no such society really clicked to me aur radio lambs ka shuru mein nahi aaya tha it was i think in december that they released their form and i knew i had to apply because i've loved the radio ever since i was a kid kyunki subah subah mein apni mama ke sath school jati thi and we would listen to anusha ashraf ka the breakfast show and it was it was just like such a you know it would light up your mood a little so i applied to radio lums but unfortunately this is a story i always tell but i didn't get in so i was pretty bummed about that like and i was like it's okay i still you know i i still would uh, come to their events like online hote the tab to but orientation unki hui i still came to that and then somehow in the summer break they reached out to me they were like we need a marketing director marketing team member so will you join i was like yeah of course me to like i this is what i always wanted to do i mean vaise my aim was to sort of be in the rj side but i was like okay i'll come to marketing you know if if i get into this society slowly maybe i'll go to that side as well so mm-hmm. that's how i ended up joining radio lums and i started off working with saud ahmed um we were in the marketing team first and we were the marketing directors then i got shifted to external communications because then radio lums was sort of expanding a lot so you know we needed like a proper communication mode so that's why they made um this new department and then i was the head of that so yeah i had a friend who was in radio lums they were just a regular person um so what was their name yes so uh, my friend khatija <laughs> who hosts the lums report and who's sitting right there uh she was part of radio lums since freshman year i think yeah uh so. then the covid pandemic struck and i'd been part of one or two societies before but you know those weren't working out so uh i was looking for something new and then i think in my sophomore year towards the end of it maybe the start of junior year i think the summer between sophomore and junior uh radio lums sent out emails asking for rjs you know and people for to apply to be rjs and i was like you know my friend khatija is an rj maybe that's something i can try out because i love talking um so mm-hmm. i submitted an idea and i was like you know i'd love to talk to professors at lums students at lums people working at lums just anyone at lums about the future of their respective fields in the sense that you know i'd like to talk to a science professor about the future of the environment i'd like to talk to economics and political science professors about the future of society and things like that so i should have said sociology there Um so yeah that was an idea that I had and I forwarded it to Radio Lums and they liked it I guess so here I am and that's the show I'm doing my joining of the society was very clandestine compared to everyone else's I was doing something on I was think I think I was playing a game League of Legends maybe and I got this call from someone and they were like hmm do you want to be in the executive council of radio lums 
Was it guess? And I was like, yeah, it was. Why do you? <laughs> you didn't have to give it away. Like that. <laughs> I was building up. The Everyone just refers to guess who's sitting behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. No, okay. no, no, you don't need to. Okay, this has happened. Too. Don't worry. But yeah, um, I I got a random call from Cass. Um, I didn't actually expect it at all. I was never even dreaming about this. He was like, "Oh, you know, we we checked out your thing, you know, which you said, mm-hmm. you know, Alu Bukhari. I used to write back in the day when I actually had some creativity. And um, I I I was like, will you give me some time to think about this? And the the funny." part was like coincidentally i was i was thinking of leaving you know my society at that time on drama line and you know i was thinking yeah mm-hmm. I, i was like you know divided on whether i should leave because mm-hmm. i wanted to be some part of some society mm-hmm. eventually so i i ended up being ec of ready lum so I, i would say like i like very privileged honestly to have this opportunity given to me मैंने बिल्कुल जब रेडियो लम्स शुरू हुआ था इन द सॉफ इन द समर्स ऑफ माय सॉफ्ट ईयर तब इन्होंने एप्लीकेशंस खोली थी मिल गई mm-hmm. थी कि इफ़ यू वांट टू अप्लाई फॉर आरजे तो आप अपनी एक ऑडियो क्लिप भेजें ऑडिशन भेजें फिर उसके ऊपर हम आपको एस एस करेंगे कि आपको रखना है कि नहीं और तब था भी बिल्कुल ऑनलाइन तो उन्होंने वो ऑडिशन वैसे डायरेक्टली मांगे थे और इंटरव्यू भी नहीं लिया था mm-hmm. वो मैंने भेजा तो फिर उसके ऊपर मुझे बहुत एक वार्म रिस्पांस मिला था उस वक्त के उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट के हेड से वो कै सलीम यहाँ पर बैठे हुए हैं तो उन्होंने फिर मुझे रख लिया उसमें मैंने वो एक गज़ल भी गा के भेजी थी फिर उन्होंने कहा ये तो आपने बड़ी अच्छी गज़ल गाई है और हमने इसको रिकॉर्ड भी करना है और ये वो बहरहाल वहाँ से उस तरह एज एन आर उन्होंने मुझे रिक्रूट किया मैंने एक प्रोग्राम बनाना शुरू किया हैवान नातिक के नाम से उसकी तीन चार एपिसोड्स भी रिकॉर्ड हुई जूनियर ईयर में लेकिन सीनियर ईयर में मैं क्योंकि ख़ुद भी उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट का हेड बन गया तो मैं अपने शो पर उस तरह से फोकस नहीं कर सका दूसरे शोज़ को सुपरवाइज़ करना होता था तो बहरहाल इस तरह से एज एन आर मैंने जॉइन किया रेडियो को और अब फिर एज एन उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट का हेड जो आपके सामने So, what is? Can you describe your role for us? What you do for the society? Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, so it's a lot about. I think my position would be uh, pretty different from other societies. What the other VPs would be doing, in terms of the fact that a lot of it was okay. इस चीज की नीड है तो हमें ये करना चाहिए राइट सो वी न्यू के सो वी वी स्टार्टेड रियलाइज ओके द सोसाइटी वाज अप एंड रनिंग वी सर्ट ओके मे बी वी नीड टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद एक्सटर्नल पार्टनरशिप एंड गेटिंग स्पॉन्सर्स ओके लेट्स मेक अ होल न्यू डिपार्टमेंट फॉर दैट राइट टू ट्राइंग टू डू दिस न्यू थिंग्स ओके दे किसी और सोसाइटी के अंदर नहीं हो रहा होगा कि उन्होंने प्ले लिस्ट बनानी होगी राइट वी नीड प्ले लिस्ट टू प्ले ऑन द रेडियो ओके लेट्स मेक अ म्यूजिक टीम फॉर दिस राइट सो आई थिंक देर देर आर दी सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू दैट you discuss with people and then you try to do is try to look mm-hmm. for new avenues to get things done or uh-huh. try to make things better by mm-hmm. you know over overall improving things and making new teams i think that's where it's uh-huh. at especially for, for like such a new society that yeah. we were like at the time like, yeah, both yeah. of us joined tab to kuch bhi nahi tha yeah there now. there was i think the the what they started with was hr uh, communications did not exist there was english urdu and then yeah. president vice president i don't think That's marketing tha yeah marketing mm-hmm. tha but and everything just collapsed um in the uh, middle, in the middle yeah. right Every, yeah. what happened was then i don't know what happened just me and haja were left for a yeah. very brief period and then the rjs but we yeah. weren't really in contact the rjs weren't in contact we didn't know ki yeah. rjs ke sath contact tha ki nahi tha ha, ha. and even the rjs were like aapne to humse baat hi nahi ki itni der se yeah. to ab kya ho raha hai and i remember when the, we started running the society to jab log aaye na hamare paas physically humne ne pehli baar dekha unhone kaha tha humne to pichli chuttiyon mein apply kiya tha अच्छा, I remember, I asked someone कि आप आप कौन से डिपार्टमेंट में आपने अप्लाई किया था दे वर लाइक आई डोंट रिमेंबर मैंने पिछले समर्स में अप्लाई किया था एंड आई ओके तो इतना देर दैट बिग ऑफ अ गैप विद पीपल तो या इट्स स्टार्टेड ऑफ लाइक दैट 
and now here we are now here we are so one of the biggest changes was making the department wise because we were clueless because we were doing the duties like even you can relate like you were not just being an rj you were a content writer you were a producer at that time you were yeah. the rj you were doing three tasks in one mm-hmm. so that's basically what maybe me and cas were doing so what we did was ki we really said ki okay we need to divide the duties and we didn't really go on ke acha you are the vice president now and i'm the president we were like we were equals in this because we started mm-hmm. as equals and to me this like title was not differentiating because i was like you get these departments maybe because he was an rj himself he was in content writing in urdu Haan. so whatever he did best i told i gave him maybe that task mm-hmm. ke initially aap sambhalo and then i can you know take over mm-hmm. and i was good in like maybe managing people and communicating in being in maybe the front of the society ke acha okay this is happening koi meeting ho rahi hai with osa i will come castle come and then we were like it was a very learning process agar mujhe nahi pata tha about maybe content writing for using a show cas was guiding me if mm-hmm. cas didn't know maybe acha agar ab meeting ho rahi hai kis tarah so i made sure ke he will be the one taking over the whole meeting theek hai because i wanted to give him that you know because literally he was like equal yeah. and i wanted ke jo bhi ho because he is going to be a senior inshallah now and he's yeah. going to stay more than i was going to be i had 2 years he, he would have like 3 years more so i was like let's invest in people who mm-hmm. can you know stay for longer and that is what me and guess primarily did mm-hmm. jaise hum ban gaye hum we found out people primarily in freshman sophomore we found out people very amazing people in junior year Mm-hmm. और उसके बाद हम उनको लेके चले वी इन्वेस्टेड आर टाइम इन देम कि ओके व्हाट हाउ विल यू मूव द सोसाइटी फॉरवर्ड एंड इवन इफ यू लाइक इंटरव्यू द अदर डिपार्टमेंट हेड्स यू कैन टेल कि वी गिव देम द फुल ऑटोनॉमी कि आपने जो करना है अपने डिपार्टमेंट में यू आर द ओनर यू आर द सोल डिसीजन मेकर यू जस्ट टेल अस व्हाट्स बेस्ट फॉर यू लाइक इवन इफ मार्केटिंग केम टू अस इवन इफ इंग्लिश एच आर केम टू अस एंड यू लाइक व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज द बेस्ट डिसीजन एंड आई थिंक एम्पावरिंग पीपल विद इन अ सोसाइटी एंड ब्रेकिंग द हर नॉर्म्स इज द बिगेस्ट थिंग दैट मे बी मी एंड कैस अचीव इन दिस सोसाइटी बिकॉज वी वर अ पार्ट ऑफ सो मेनी अदर सोसाइटीज और वहाँ एक सेट हर थी कि डायरेक्टर है जी है और मतलब वो एंड वी वर लाइक नो वी आर नॉट गोना हैव लाइक अ जनरल बॉडी एंड देन आर डायरेक्टर एंड देन आर जनरल बॉडी ठीक है जनरल सेक्रेटरी के बारे ऐसे करके तो वी वर लाइक इट्स गोना बी अ वन मतलब कि सारे एक ही स्केल में है जो आ जाया है जो चार साल पहले दो साल पहले होगा इफ यू आर ऑल लाइक वन इफ यू आर सेंग समथिंग के ओ आई थिंक दिस शुड बी द कोर्स ऑफ माई शो इट्स योर शो आई के नॉट टेल इवन इफ आई एम लाइक योर इंग्लिश हैड सो आई थिंक हमने जब हर आर की लिटरी डिजोल्व की दैट इज वेन a literal change happened because mm-hmm. the culture change of the society as a whole and when people came they witnessed that they were like mm-hmm. pata hi nahi chal raha matlab ki koi matlab ye nahi hai ki acha wo koi wahan baitha hai vice president ya koi baithi hai aise karke they were like you're all friends like you welcome us as friends and then you talk about work yeah and i think that is also possible and the biggest एग्जाम्पल वॉज के मी एंड कैस फॉर फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम डे वन वी डेंट शो कि अच्छा आई डोंट नो यू यू आर द वाइस प्रेजिडेंट या फिर आई एम द प्रेजिडेंट ऐसे करके जब आप खुद फ्रेंड्स होते हो ना यू वॉन्ट दैट एनर्जी डिजॉल्व इन द होल सोसाइटी एंड इवन इफ वन पर्सन हैड अ प्रॉब्लम इट्स लाइक वी हैड अ पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम एंड जब आपको खुद फील होता है ना कि नो समथिंग नॉट गुड इज हैपनिंग एंड यू वैल्यू ईच एवरी पर्सन तो आई थिंक I think that is what I'll say. That it's so far from my end. That is the most thing that I'm maybe proud of. That we mm-hmm. are in that aspect different from other societies. That mm-hmm. there is no culture, there is no hierarchy as such, as such. And we are like we value and empower you for literally who you are. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right because I I feel like wo it it's really trans you and Kes working mm-hmm. together. It's really translated into the rest of the society as well. With the kind of just with the kind of creative freedom we as RJs, I'd yeah. say have yeah, yeah. because I joined as an RJ specifically, but now everyone else who's been recruited, who mm-hmm. are producers or content writers, come. Yeah. Even they get to, you know, at some point, be they can also be RJs if they come up with you yeah. know a show that is good enough and that allows you to come up with really creative exactly ideas for content for uh-huh. the kind of content we are producing and making. Um. So yeah, that's that's really. Just, yeah, I mean, it's an it's been an amazing journey, I'd say. Oh, <laughs> it's it's been great being here from you know the start and seeing like the society like yeah. rise up from the ashes. Yeah, I I mean, you can remember when our meeting would be, we were four people. Ha ha. You were cool. there, and I was like, where is the English department? And Kadija would be like, I am representing you, <laughs> you and Faza. Two people were there. Two people. And after that, we had like we we had aloo bukhari ki jab debate ki. Oh, Ibrahim, <laughs> he has yes. to be with us, you know. Like when we were changing, we were looking at people. 
who were like you know who were like ha, ha, ha. barrier breakers yeah. and alu bukhari was one of those theek hai ki acha i am going to say i don't care what people are thinking and yeah. that is why we were finding people ki jinki creative energy is unmatched uh-huh. in any other society because this is Bilkul, not like aap uh, paper work kar rahe ho aap aise aa rahe ho mm-hmm. i can very proudly say ki all our members <laughs> saad <laughs> and ayla sama abdul moiz zoha jo hamari nahi bani Ibrahim, you like all these people yeah. are people I admire personally. ठीक है and whenever अभी भी कल परसों I was listening to a like a fresh uh, जो आरजे जो हमारी बनी थी and I was just admiring her energy on mm-hmm. like in the video and she was talking to her guest and I was like I did not had that confidence when I was like in sophomore or in my freshman mm-hmm. year and the way she was speaking I mean that is what this whole society is about we yeah. give you the confidence and if you love speaking. speak we provide mm-hmm. you with video with podcast or itne platforms ki even i have lost count yeah hey <laughs> mm-hmm. move, moving on and on and on theek hai aisa aisa karte karte it went good summers mein bhi shoot ki humne phir like fall semester aa gaya 2022 ka dobara humne ek do shoot kiye and then came 2023 mm-hmm. this year kuch ho hi gaya main to pata nahi ek banda kehte crazy scene ho gaya ठीक है पता नहीं कौन बनता है और एंड वी शॉर्ट लाइक क्रेजी नंबर ऑफ एटीट्यूड एपिसोड्स राइट और इट इट वाज अ वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस डूइंग ऑल दैट और हमारी वी हैड अ डायरेक्शन नाउ वी न्यू के हम कहाँ जा रहे हैं क्या कर रहे हैं जिंदगी में ठीक है कि मतलब कि एक सोसाइटी थी पहले लाइक <laughs> बस है ठीक है शोज आते हैं एक वेबसाइट पर पर नाउ देर इज लाइक अ प्रॉपर प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक कि यूट्यूब के लिए ये शोज आएंगे हम इंस्ट्रक्टर्स को इंटरव्यूज करते हैं स्टूडेंट्स को करते हैं हम हम क्या एक डायरेक्शन है हमारे पास पीपल स्टार्ट इड रिकगनाइजिंग अस ओ देर मल्टीपल पीपल रीच आउट टू मी दिस सेमेस्टर एज वेल एंड देर लाइक यार वो तुम रेडियो लाम्स के लिए एडिट करते हो ना यार या यार मेरा छोटा सा काम था कर दो एडिटिंग सिर्फ रेडियो लाम्स के लिए क्या बात है और इससे सब इट इज़ बिन अमेजिंग आई I don't know how can I describe it. Like my entire life at Lums, the past one year especially, mm-hmm. has been all about radio Lums. I'm with my friends. I'm talking about radio Lums, radio Lums, radio Lums. I'm talking about 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 radio Lums. <laughs> very very dedicated. <laughs> it, hmm. it, it it has been that way, and I I really really <laughs> really. Uh, believe this mm-hmm. ki this society is going to like go beyond a lot of things and mm-hmm. there is a lot a lot a lot more to accomplish abhi to start hua hai mm-hmm. i think a lot of yeah. credit goes to the marketing team as well because yeah. we as rjs and content writers we uh-huh. record the you know the episode and we go home hamara kaam khatam ho jata hai and then you know the editing and put mm-hmm. posting that takes a lot of hours matlab as part of hr आई वुड से कि एच आर में ये होता है कि हाँ जनरली तो आपका रोल होता है एज पार्ट ऑफ ए सोसाइटी कि आप लोगों के लिए वो ट्रांजेक्शन स्मूद करो आप इवेंट्स अरेंज करो यू नो यू सॉर्ट ऑफ क्रिएट लाइक दिस रिक्रिएशनल एटमोसफियर विद इन द सोसाइटी तो वो तो डेफिनेटली है बट इट्स इम्पॉसिबल विद आउट अ गुड टीम एंड आई एम वेरी फॉर्चुनेट बिकॉज आई मेट अ लॉट ऑफ रियली हार्ड वर्किंग एंड रियली डेडिकेटेड पीपल हु आर पार्ट ऑफ एच आर मतलब थ्रू रेडियो लम्स ऑन ऑफ होम इज द असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ एच आर जवाद सो हाँ कमिंग बैक टू द सेम पॉइंट जवाद एंड आई ओवर द पास्ट आई वुड से जब से हाँ ओवर द पास्ट वन ईयर वी रियली वर्क टूगेदर टू मतलब एग्जीक्यूट ऑर्गेनाइज अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्रिएशनल इवेंट्स हमारा रिसेंटली वी जस्ट हैड सोसाइटी अफतारी उसके अलावा थैंक यू उसके अलावा वी डू अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स मतलब फ्यू वीक्स गो वी हैड दिस पेंटिंग एक्टिविटी उसमें हम सारे यू नो ऑन कैम्पस ही वी अरेंज लाइक दोज मिनी कैनवसेज और उन पर पेंटिंग वगैरह हमने की थी एंड इट वॉज लाइक अ सोसाइटी वाइड थिंग so any one from any department is welcome to join but even uh, apart from like the society as a whole when you just look at the ec um it's usually matlab usually kya it is hr who is the one ke matlab i am the one organizing all the society of the ec outings dinners and so on and so forth to role yahi hota hai hr ka generally aur mera bhi yahi raha hai ke you sort of add like this fun undertone to the society especially jab kaam bahut zyada badh jata hai but it's also really important to know ke when uh, throughout the academic year throughout the semester when are the right moments to do that matlab you can't just every weekend be like okay let's mm-hmm. do so and so and so 
uh, you need to really pick and choose the timing and what's uh, sort of convenient for everyone, what everyone is mentally open to at that point. So it's like, you know, you're like the connection between all the teams when we get too engrossed in all of our yeah, work and I forget say, I say, huh. the best part of Radio Lums is like working yes, with each other. Exactly. Basically. Yeah, I think ke, I think even just the small things go a really long way. So mm-hmm. for example, like, Kabhi aapne main wo jo GB ka group chat usme koi message bhej do wishing people luck with their finals and you know Eid Mubarak and stuff like that so I think it really is a way to sort of connect all the different departments within the society in a way that's easy and like fun for everyone it doesn't have to be big things every time so what I do is that I'm any um, sort of external stakeholders of LUMS I will like maintain relations with them I will send them emails if we want to have guests over if there's any like collaborations I will manage that we'll make like um, a sort of memorandum of agreement making sure you know in the collaboration nothing goes wrong Mm -hmm. and then another aspect of my department is that we're actively seeking sponsorships so that's something we're working on we sort of just uh, collect this data and make like slides and then reach out to co- different companies and I'm pretty positive that you know we'll achieve our goal if not this semester then next semester so yeah so this is why Hewane Natik ke naam se shuru kiya tha kyunke social animal hona jo hai ab wo jab university mein aaye to har waqt yehi sunte rehte the ke bandar se bane hain aur evolve hue hain to fir तो फिर हमने सोचा कि भाई इससे इसके ऊपर की भी कोई एवोल्यूशन होगी तो वो सोशल एवोल्यूशन इंसान की के उसने सिविलाइजेशन कैसे बनाई और अगर सिविलाइजेशन के मटेरियल एस्पेक्ट्स को भी देखें तो उसकी रूट में एक चीज़ है वो है ज़ुबान और ज़ुबान इंसान की सबसे ज़्यादा अमेजिंग एक इन्वेंशन है और सबसे ज़्यादा वो जो मिस्टिकल एलिमेंट है बिल्कुल उसकी बेस लेवल जो एग्जिस्टेंस है इंसान की वो जुबान है तो फिर इसलिए उसका नाम हैवान नातिक रखा हमारी यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में इतना ज़्यादा फोकस नहीं किया जाता अब कम्यूनिकेशन स्किल्स को कम्यूनिकेशन स्किल्स का नाम दिया जाता है लेकिन वो असल में तो वो इंसान का इंसान से ताल्लुक है जिसकी बुनियाद पर किसी से बात करके आपको अच्छा लगता है या उसको आपकी बात सुन के अच्छा लगता है वो शेर है शायरी है दास्तान है वो सब चीज़ें हैं जो इंसानों को आपस में जोड़ती हैं तो उसको एक तरह से रिवाइवल कह लें उसके लिए अपनी अपनी सी एक कोशिश की कि इसके ऊपर एक शो बनाया जाए माय माय रोल इन द सोसाइटी इज टू ओके या दिस इज अ बिट डिफिकल्ट बट या बेसिकली टू ऑर्गेनाइज द इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट एंड गिव यू गाइस यू नो द आरजेस सम लाइक नाइस गुड आइडियाज and just make sure that everyone is on schedule mm-hmm. with the um you know the recording their creativity and stuff like that and you know and alongside that you know try to build a more you know community mm-hmm. in society or you know primarily my department because you know that's mm-hmm. what I'm ahead of Mm-hmm. what are your some of your you know hopes for radio lums for the future what do you wish the society would continue to be and to achieve i think my only hope for radio lums is a to just dissolve not be in this hierarchical model even within being in lums i know how mm-hmm. it can get to you with so many other 49 societies on your head and when they come with a collaboration maybe ki oh yeah. like who do i talk to now like you're all like अगर कोई कम्युनिकेशन कह रही है दैट इज़ द फाइनल से सो वट इज़ द प्रेजिडेंट सेंग सो आई आई जस्ट लाइक कि आप लोग जस्ट बी दिस वे मीट अ लॉट मोर आई वुड लव दैट बिकॉज आर सोसाइटी लाइक वी वर एन इन्फ्लुएंस सोसाइटी वी स्टिल आर वी आर स्मॉल सोसाइटी एंड द वे वी मीट इज़ लाइक वेरी क्यूट स्मॉल होलसम गैदरिंग्स आई वुड जस्ट से कि मीट अ लॉट मोर एंड द नेक्स्ट पर्सन हुए इज़ कमिंग और द नेक्स्ट ईजी हुए इज़ कमिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू to take to give full ownership to people who are coming to respect them for the individuals that they are mm-hmm. because everyone has a story everyone is different everyone is like beautiful in their own way and radio lump is the platform where you can like shine literally mm-hmm. and bring in the amazing content that they are right now with the professors with like the collaborations i mean this is just the start and i'm just so proud to see even if i don't come to lums i'm so happy seeing on our socials ke what it will do even further because even now mm-hmm. i am hearing ldf pe on our radio lums on osa they are all like 
oh radio lumps oh radio lumps guys you guys are like creating the noise <laughs> and even like the latest episode with asim mm-hmm. oh my god like so much reach and like whoever i this top is like yeah radio lumps is like the editing the whole thing radio yeah. lumps is like doing something mm-hmm. and i'm like you guys have no idea aur ye bhi sara learning part of the learning tha we could not make this videos or this content 2 years ago with so much ups and downs hamari khud mm-hmm. ki learning hui aur hamari khud ki learning hui to just how to you know stick with each other and yeah. not let go of these relationships like you mm-hmm. and i cash so like i cannot even like so many people to name i cannot even mm-hmm. name people jo mere samne unko bhi name kar rahi hu so i'm just saying ke just be together because you are at the end as one yeah. and own what your society's values are mm-hmm. and just bring them forward future goals i don't know i'm i'm, I'm honestly not sure um mm-hmm. there are a lot of brilliant people in the ec i'm looking some of them are behind the camera um some of them aren't in the room um i i, I love the people in the ec um some of the, they are the nicest um smartest people that i've met um and i'm the, everybody's going to have a chance to s- see what direction the society is going to take i don't mm-hmm. i don't know there there's always that uh feeling that i have is you can get very myopic right you can mm-hmm. think very short term because with the goals that you have so uh, one of the things that i'm constantly afraid of at radio lums is i like podcasts right i'm a huge fan of podcasts and that's the direction where the society is going because mm-hmm. that is my that is something that i like but is that the right thing to do for the society in the long term i don't know mm-hmm. maybe there are three other people or five other people in the ec they disagree that is not the right direction to take we should focus more on other things like getting the frequency we should be mm-hmm. more true to being a radio station than being a podcast station right mm-hmm. so in in that term i don't know what i need what i know right now is I want to have a lot of discussions over the summers, right? We need we need to think of a lot of other things. We need to think of ourselves as a student society as well. Hmm. I think the one of the missteps that I'd taken this year was that think of thinking of Radio Lums too much as like an organization, yeah. right? We we're like a content organization that are gonna produce content and we're gonna get sponsors, right? Mm-hmm. It's a student society as well, right? Um, there are people in the society who just join it for the heck of it, right? They yeah. they. there are people who come here they they like i haven't tried this thing hmm. they 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 want they, they joined the society for the reason that i joined hmm. <laughs> this sound this looks pretty cool maybe i'll try it out oh. right and so making those sort of uh bureaucratic rules kind of takes the fun away hmm. so maybe that that's where it's headed maybe rethinking a lot of other things the broader strategy how we want to The, just a lot of other things maybe mm-hmm. we'll figure it out in the summers though i'm we'll confident we'll figure it out as we go along we'll figure it out as we go go with the flow right a lot of plans but in, in, instead of like ha we we do like short term goals hote hain hamare like abhi sabse bada hai ke we have to work on our editing process right mm-hmm. we it's 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 really really tough at the moment mm-hmm. it's just like a couple of people hardly two to three people who are like really good editors who put out that content right mm-hmm. and we need to increase that number we need uh, we need to uh, like have a proper kya keh sakte hain na ek ek proper <coughs> zyada formalized system jisme like you know ke acha is bande ka yahi kaam hai isne hi edit karna hai abhi currently it is like ke kyunki log kam hai to a single person has to do multiple jobs as well right and that is the goal ke na bilkul mm-hmm. zyada se zyada smooth out ho jaye process we have more editors and and there's one other thing that we we try to execute it this semester as well we wanted a uh, show for the marketing department mm-hmm. right where they just sit and talk and we Uh, don't judge me for the name right he can no, no, we, no, we, 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 it's, it's not really even exactly. finalized or something we just uh, called it for the sake of a name like right? like we called it random talks sort of theek ah, <laughs> but, but cool. we may change it i don't know uh-huh. right but it uh, but like that's one thing I, that i would want to uh-huh. see executed and uh, for me like <coughs> in the longer term uh, if you were to ask me uh, radio lands i I don't see it competing with any society over here, right? I I think of it as a very very different thing. Like it's I think Kena in the upcoming years, about five to six, four to five years from now, it's going to transform the entire media landscape of this region. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to provide students with the opportunity to make an impact. 
जैसे आज हम देखते हैं ना कि मुजम्मिल हसन है टीबीटी वाला यहाँ पे शहजाद शेख टी पी कर रहे हैं इस तरह की पॉडकास्ट चैनल्स हैं लाइक पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ कामन रेडियो लम्स विल बी दैट बिग थिंग राइट बिकॉज इट इट वुड बी अ प्लेटफॉर्म जहाँ पे हम जो हर वक्त सुनते हैं ना कि सिक्सटी परसेंट यूथ है ठीक है तो उस यूथ के पास एक प्लेटफॉर्म होगा कि आप आए और उसके सवालों का जवाब दें द इंटेलेक्चुअल्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी द सेलिब्रिटीज ऑफ द सोसाइटी द पॉलिटिशियंस ऑफ द सोसाइटी द ब्यूरोक्रेट्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी द ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी द पीपल हु रन द सोसाइटी हु रन दिस कंट्री राइट दे विल कम इन टू दिस रूम they will sit right here they, there will be an rj there will be another khadija sitting right on that seat and okay. interviewing the next prime minister of this country there oh, will wow. be that day inshallah inshallah like when i i talk about ha, this to only to two two people ha. one is my my favorite my sweetheart <laughs> salman theek <laughs> hai and the other is a, a friend of mine and a third one is my assistant director kabhi kabhar se baat karta hu और पर ना देर आर पीपल दे आर लाइक साउथ आउट में थोड़ा ज्यादा ही ठीक है पर नहीं द प्लेस वे वी स्टैंड हेयर राइट नाउ देर वॉज अ पॉइंट जब मैं ये भी कहता था ना ये होगा हम ये सब कुछ करेंगे यार नहीं होगा टाइम नहीं निकलता वी वी गॉट अट डन वी गॉट अ टिक टॉक आउट विच गॉट लाइक थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड व्यूज राइट वी आर द सेकंड मोस्ट फॉलोअर सोसाइटी ओवर देयर ऑन टिक टॉक इन लाम जी वी आर लाइक द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग सोसाइटी ओवर हेयर एट लाम राइट नाउ इन लेस देन लाइक लेस देन अ ईयर वी हैव अकॉम्पलिश अलॉट वी हैव कम अ फार वे राइट एंड वी आर गोन गो वेरी 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 फार इन वेरी फार इन I think for now we interact with the Lums community only through video, and we're not physically interacting with them per se. So I really want that next semester we have sort of these events where we can, you know, properly interact with mm-hmm. the community. Um, and I I'm sure there's lots of ideas like within the you know radio side of things that we can do. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a great idea in our minds i can't tell it right now oh, but it's a secret <laughs> but next semester i'm really hoping ke we mm. do that uh but other than that obviously it's uh as part of my department it's the getting sponsorships part because um once we get that I'm, i think we'll really be able to expand and you know fulfill those goals ke physically interacting with the lums community as well mere se uh, mere uh, जो टीम मेंबर्स हैं उनकी भी अक्सर शिकायत रहती है और उनका भी मैं बहुत ज़्यादा शुक्र गुज़ार हूँ जोहा का जोहा इरफान का ख़ास तौर पर और इन शाह हमें उन्हें छोड़ना पड़ गया सोसाइटी को लेकिन इन शाह ने भी बहुत साथ दिया उस उस अरसे में तो आम तौर पे मेंबर्स का नई रिक्रूटमेंट्स का ये शिकवा रहता है कि जी आप ये इस तरह की डिमांड्स करते हैं जो कि पूरी नहीं की जा सकती हैं एकेडमिक उसके साथ बर्डन के साथ लेकिन अगर किसी ने शो बनाना है इस तरह से रेडियो पे आना है और प्रॉपर उसको लेके चलना है तो फिर मेरा ये होता है कि आप उस उसको अपनी पूरी शख्सियत के साथ उसके अंदर आप इन्वॉल्व हों और अपने स्किल को डेवलप करें ये ना हो कि आप इम प्रॉम्पचू के नाम पे बस जो भी दिल में आए और जो भी ट्रेंडिंग है वो करना शुरू कर दें किसी का जो भी शौक़ है वो उसको कोई कोई बिल्कुल बेस लेवल स्किल है किसी चीज़ के बारे में कोई इंफॉर्मेशन है जैसे कोई ड्रामे देखता है कोई शायरी पढ़ता है कोई कॉमेडी uh, अच्छी करता है तो वो इस प्लेटफॉर्म को इस्तेमाल करे अपने स्किल को शार्पन करने के लिए अब जाहिर है वो प्लेटफॉर्म के ज़रिए से आपको एक आउटलेट तो मिल जाएगा लेकिन स्किल को शार्पन आपको खुद करना पड़ेगा तो अभी भी क्योंकि अभी मैं ग्रेजुएशन के बाद कुछ महीने और रुकूंगा एक सेमेस्टर या इस तरह से तो मेरा गोल ये है कि जो मेरे टीम मेंबर्स हैं उनमें मैं क्योंकि ये मेरी जिम्मेदारी है कि मैं डिस्कवर करूँ कि वो उनके कौन से एस्पेक्ट्स हैं जो कि प्रोमिनेंटली एक तरह से अट्रैक्टिव हो सकते हैं ऑन रेडियो और फिर उनको साथ लेके चला जाए उनको पुश किया जाए कि वो अपनी स्किल को शार्पन करें कोई शायरी पढ़ने का शौक़ रखता है तो फिर उसको बाकायदा उकसाया जाए कि वो उसके लिए वक्त निकाले उस उस स्किल में मास्टरी हासिल करे और बिल्कुल एक क्लासिकल लेवल का जो काम है जिसके अंदर झोल ना हो जिस तरह आजकल मॉर्निंग शोज वगैरह होते हैं उनमें ना तलफ़ का कोई ख्याल है ना कंटेंट का कोई लिहाज है तो उस तरह से ना हो बल्कि और उसमें जो जो शो होस्ट है उसकी अपनी पर्सनल एनरिचमेंट जितनी ज़्यादा होगी पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस जो उसे गेन होगा दैट इज मच मोर देन द ट्रबल ही और शी इज़ गोइंग थ्रू आई एम आंसर दो फ्यूचर प्रोविडेंस आई थिंक पर्सनली विदाउट बींग टू आई थिंक इट्स 
a great idea for a show and I'd love to see someone else you know step up and start doing shows like this maybe even continue the show under the same name talk to people who I didn't have an opportunity to talk to do the shows that I couldn't do in time because yes I am graduating what's next for a member of radio alums I think anything because you know the sort of things you've been able to talk about here the sort of ideas you've had discussions you've had people you've met that gives you a great opportunity what's next for Mustafa is probably unemployment but you know oh, that's not, not by virtue of being a radio alums member that's just me yeah i want i want a really spicy show in radio alums oh. something that just creates i i i can't say that word um like you know hila ke rakh de pure alums ke community ko ki ye kya hai either in a good way i would prefer in a good way okay um m- mainly like satire um i i want ke like radio alums harbors some level of you know satire because um honestly i i, I don't feel like in alums comedians have any home i i don't I'm not calling myself a comedian but just generally people who tend to write, like to write funny jokes and like create mm-hmm. funny stuff they they don't have any place in lums and you know my hope is ke because radio lums has the potential so you know maybe we could come up with some nice shows for that I w- I would like to see that happen so what's for you is like the best part of being in radio lums what's your favorite part favorite part Hmm there are a lot of things that I like about radio lums I think it's uh the most about I think the feedback that I've gotten it's uh, when you when you're constantly working with a lot of people you get a lot of feedback right mm-hmm. and then you realize you make a lot of there's a thing that I realize I make a lot of mistakes consistently right and I and I constantly try to improve on them but this is something that i've learned is that you you get this exposure you you never know if you're going to stay in that protective bubble you'll never know mm-hmm. what you can do to improve yourself right yeah. and so there's a lot of feedback that i've gotten over these past few years mm-hmm. which have which i feel like was really important for me to grow as a person um working in an ec working under a lot of pressure right um you know when things are going wrong how to deal with there's a so there are a ton of different stakeholders that are involved in radio lumps that usually aren't involved in any other society right mm-hmm. and how do you deal with those stakeholders right mm-hmm. uh and the, and then you so you have stay dealing with those stakeholders dealing within the society and yeah. then you have your own stuff going on so how do you manage through that and i don't know if i'm good at it i don't know my team could tell me if i'm good at it but you good at it thank you for those words but You know th- I think I've learned to at least handle that. Mm-hmm. That's my That's take on that. It's it's the people like honestly I I could have been in any society. Mm-hmm. I have friends in all the societies almost like right? I never applied to any other society once I was there. Like I told you na at that uh-huh. moment I decided ki iska scene and maine yahan hi rehna hai right? And I was like ke ye maine nahi chhodna this uh-huh. semester uh-huh. any this year jab start tha na yeah one of my friends he is in one of the very like big societies theek hai and he knows my work where i sara na and he was like yaar we really need good people tum junior ho beshak thoda difficult hota but just come in my team theek hai mm-hmm. and i did not join it i was like nahi radio lamps theek hai south no. is only loyal to radio lamps <laughs> yeah and that uh, it's i just don't know my entire day my entire week my entire month my entire years it's every hour is structured around radio lumps like there is this friend i have theek hai uh, whenever i meet her so i just take out my laptop and i'm editing and she's like ye tumhari jo maa hai na ye radio lumps <laughs> like you don't yeah. know what it means to me <laughs> yeah and it's the people it's it is the people it's because of them that i've stayed here that i mm-hmm. love every second of being here like mm-hmm. Obviously, मतलब कि ये नहीं कि हर वक्त आप हा 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 करते हैं देर आर लाइक आपके आर्ग्यूमेंट्स होते हैं यू डिसग्री ऑन थिंग्स राइट बट देर इज नेवर एन एलिमेंट ऑफ डिसरेस्पेक्ट यू आर ऑलवेज वैल्यूड लाइक द इंटायर द जनरल बॉडी द एग्जीक्यूटिव काउंसिल माई मार्केटिंग मेम्बर्स राइट इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट लाइक आई गेस आई एम द ओनली पर्सन हु इंटरेक्ट विद लाइक एवरी डिपार्टमेंट ओवर हेयर राइट एंड एवरी वन दे लाइक गिव मी सो मच रिस्पेक्ट कहीं भी मैं रस्ते में जा रहा हूँ फॉरन रुकेंगे असला साउथ भाई क्या हाल है आपका ठीक है 
and everyone's treated equally like there is no hierarchy if you're a director you're not going to be rude to your team member everyone's equal really so i think i think that part i really like because uh i see this in other societies where it's there is a hierarchy mm-hmm. and i think that doesn't exist in radio lums which i love about it and we're also not too like hardcore on our team members so you know if someone's slacking it's okay we like we we realize ke at the end of the day it's like a student run society everyone has their own you know stuff going on so i think that's what i like about radio lamb so as i pehle to maine already ek baat kar di hai ki there ek sense of community or belonging genuinely hai it's not just ke you know aapko agar aap instagram check karo us pe badi ek aisi vibe bani hui hai but it's not just a social media vibe real life mein bhi aapko aisa feel hoga ke you're surrounded by friends you're surrounded by good people uh, people who share similar interests to you but it's not only limited to like uh, radio related interest matlab mera bhi i'm not an rj and i don't have much experience or any experience at all like that but still i've managed to make a couple of really good friends and us tarah bhi like extended bhi mera ek social circle hai within the society so um you asked the best part Sorry. yeah the best part okay so the yeah so the best part is the feeling of community and um the best part of the society i would say are the people in the society um even apart from just the students and the general body jo uh, faculty mein se jo jin logon ne hum hamari itni help ki hui hai sir mudassir sir athir um i think matlab they also have this wo about them ki you know the radio room is always here matlab open for you guys aap log aao aap log dekho sab kuch i used to be very intimidated of the radio room when i like of the radio station when i uh, initially like joined radio alums and I, i never like visited it properly until like mera junior year shuru hua tha बट उसके बाद से मेरे काफ़ी चक्कर लगता है बिकॉज अगेन लाइक वन यू आर हियर यू एक्सपीरियंस सो मच एंड यू लर्न एंड सी सो मच सो तब से आई थिंक आई बिकम मोर कम्फर्टेबल हियर एज वेल सो आई थिंक दो ओ ऑल्सो वन लास्ट थिंग आई थिंक द सॉर्ट ऑफ कनेक्शन एंड द लिंक जो आपका एक एडमिन के साथ बन जाता है ना सॉरी फैकल्टी के साथ जो बन जाता है आई थिंक दैट्स सो इंटरेस्टिंग टू ऑब्जर्व बिकॉज इट्स थ्रू रेडियो लम्स दैट मेरे कई प्रोफेसर से मेरी इतनी अच्छी अंडरस्टैंडिंग बन गया बिकॉज आई यू नो रिक्वेस्ट दम कि वुड यू लाइक टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द रेडियो शो वुड यू लाइक टू हैव एन इंटरव्यू एंड इट ऑन एयर सो या दैट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द पार्ट है तो ट्वेंटी वन के एंड पे वो कॉन्वोकेशन हुई उसमें वो उन्होंने कहा हमें एडमिन ने कि रेडियो लम्स ने उसको कवर करना है और वो काफ़ी गैप के बाद हमारी टीम की एक तरह से और वो टीम में कौन था मैं था और कैस था तो हमारी वो मीटिंग हुई और हमें उस कॉन्वोकेशन पे बहुत ज़्यादा एग्जिस्टेंशल क्राइसिस हुआ कि ये हम क्या कर रहे हैं और हमारी सोसाइटी का क्या हाल होगा क्योंकि हम काफ़ी अरसे से सुन रहे थे कि हमें फ्रीकुनसी भी मिलेगी हमारा शो एयर होगा रेडियो पर हमारा चैनल एयर होगा लेकिन वो नहीं हो पा रहा था सोसाइटी इनएक्टिव थी डिपार्टमेंट हेड्स जो थे वो बिल्कुल इनएक्टिव थे सऊद और आइला जैसे लोगों की भी कमी थी कम्युनिकेशंस का डिपार्टमेंट नहीं था मार्केटिंग का डिपार्टमेंट नहीं था तो मैं और कैस उस वक्त कॉन्वोकेशन पे बैठ के ये बातें कर रहे थे कि ये फ़ैसला लिया जाए कि रेडियो लम्स को आगे ले चलना है या बस इसको छोड़ दिया जाए और पहले भी दो तीन दफ़ा जितनी भी दफ़ा रेडियो लम्स शुरू हुआ तो बाद में इसी तरह के हालात पैदा होने की वजह से वो ख़त्म भी हो गया तो मैं और कैस भी उसी पॉइंट पे खड़े थे और फिर हमने फ़ैसला किया कि नहीं यार हम दोनों इसको लेके चलेंगे कैस उस वक्त उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट का हेड था कैस ने बाद में हायर अप से बातचीत वगैरह की मीटिंग्स की कैस प्रमोट हो गया टू वाइस प्रेसिडेंट कैस ने कहा कि अब मैं वाइस प्रेसिडेंट बन जाऊंगा उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट का क्या होगा इंग्लिश वाला तो चलता रहेगा तो मेरे ऊपर ऑलरेडी बहुत ज़्यादा बर्डन था लेकिन मैंने फिर भी कैस से कहा जो कि मैं वादा कैस से उस तरह से पूरा नहीं कर सका और इसी अभी मैं ग्रेजुएशन के बाद भी कुछ अरसा रुकूँगा लेकिन फिर मैंने उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट संभाल लिया कैस ने वाइस प्रेजिडेंसी संभाली तो मेरा ख्याल है वो जो था ना बड़ा क्रूशल एक मोमेंट भी था सोसाइटी में 
और इंटरेस्टिंग भी था हमारे लिए पर्सनली एक्सपीरियंशियल लेवल पे कि वो एक शिफ्ट आया फिर हमने कैस नहीं बेसिकली तो सारी मेहनत की नए डिपार्टमेंट्स बनाए नए लोगों को रिक्रूट किया तो आज जो है वो सईद सऊद जैसे जो हम जहत शख्सियात जो हैं वो हमें मैसर हैं माई फेवरेट पार्ट अबाउट बींग इन रेडियो लम्स इज़ दैट इट्स नॉट लाइक एनी ऑफ दर सोसाइटीज इट्स या it's quirky it it stays um in bed till noon but it always gets its work done oh definitely <laughs> yeah that that's radio lums for you and like generally be uh, honestly i i love radio lums it, it was i i would say the best university experience i've had because not only you know the people my own team english ki but even you know the rest of the ec by far the most humble and mm-hmm. most accommodating and most helpful and friendly people uh, to ever you know spend time with uh, yeah my favorite part about being in radio lums is uh, just getting to talk and not get roasted for it other than that the people at radio lums are just amazing i think this is a best society i've been in uh it's the there's like you know people mentioned in the previous interviews there's people the people are humble they're accommodating there's no competition in the sense that you know like cutthroat competition where you're backstabbing people like in other societies that should remain nameless um so yeah i mean it's just fun being at radio lums uh, and through providence i've gotten to talk to you know some of the biggest names at lums like you know mm-hmm. i've gotten to talk to a previous ambassador of Pakistan to different countries I've gone to talk to um a professor who's worked on public policy for decades so the opportunities radio lums has given me uh in both you know getting to be part of an enjoyable fun easy society and also meeting new people and with that we come to an end of the show thank you for tuning in it has been an absolute pleasure hosting the lums report i still remember when i started um how much i'd stutter and um you know read off of my script and now i'm just doing this completely you know i'm just improvising and i honestly don't know how to complete you know give you a final meant because this show and everything i've done here at radio lums has meant so much to me it was an opportunity that um you know fell completely unexpectedly into my lap and um i think i've i think i've told the story before about how i you know auditioned for radio lums thrice and three times a charm because i was selected on the third try and the first few episodes of the lums report were recorded in my closet at home but now i am in this very fabulous studio which i will miss very much um And yeah I hope you have enjoyed the Lums report and I hope you have enjoyed listening to me drone on and on about everything that's been going on on campus and um I wish the best of luck to you all and I wish the best of luck to my family here at Radio Lums and um the next RJ of the Lums report so the Lums report will definitely be continuing I will make sure of that um someone needs to remind you of all the tiny details and facilities here at Lums so yes thank you for tuning in it has It's been a pleasure hosting this show. Um, be sure to subscribe to all of the social media pages for Radio Lums and our YouTube and our podcast channels, and stay tuned to Radio Lums. Manzil to mil hi jayegi, bhadak kar hi sahi, gumrah to wo hai jo ghar se nikle hi nahi.